This video covers simplest D3 math possible. The structure of this video is as follows. The goal, the relevant code, how to find pre-built SVG paths, JavaScript walkthrough, and the summary. All right, let's get started. The goal. The goal of this video is to serve as an introduction to D3 maps. D3 maps can start out simple and quickly delve into very complicated mathematical projects. Luckily for us, D3 will do most of the hard part for us. In this video, we are going to create an SVG map of the country of Mexico in the simplest way possible. We are going to do it using Google, Wikimedia, Commons, D3, and SVG paths. Finally, we will add zooming and panning capabilities to make the map interactive. The relevant code. Before we look at the code that generated this image, let's step back a second and think about what we are looking at. What do we see on the screen? We see the border of the SVG viewport, we see the map of the country of Mexico, and we see a shape that has a fill of gray. There isn't anything else to see. This is the D3 command that draws the map of the country of Mexico. As you can see, it is very simple. The shape is an SVG path. We define the D attribute to get the correct shape. Then we make the fill gray. Of all the things we have looked at and done in D3, this is by far the simplest. As you can probably tell, the magic happens when we set the attribute D of the SVG path. The variable Mexico path is what provides the SVG path many language instructions to D3 so that it can define the D attribute. So while the code looks deceptively simple, the hard work is being taken care of for us by the Mexico path variable. This is the Mexico path variable. The variable is a string of SVG path many language instructions that guide the pen along the screen. If we take a closer look at the instructions, we can see three letters from the alphabet. An M for mom, a C for Charlie, and a Z for zebra. The M for mom stands for the SVG path mini language command move to. This tells the SVG pen where to start the drawing from. The C for Charlie stands for the SVG path mini language command curve to. This tells the SVG pen to draw a cubic Bezier curve from the current point to the next XY coordinate point provided. The Z for zebra stands for the SVG path mini language command close path. This tells the SVG pen to draw a line from the last point to the first point drawn, thus closing the path. So all in all, pretty simple. The SVG pen goes down, it creates lots and lots of curves, and then draws a line from the last point to the first point drawn. What is not simple is getting all of the points to draw the curves. Because this video is about creating the simplest D3 map possible, rather than figuring out all of the points, we will use Google to find pre-built SVG paths. How to find pre-built SVG paths. As a reminder, this is the Mexico SVG path with most of the middle removed. I downloaded this path pre-built and just plugged it into a variable that then created the map. Let's cover the steps I took to find this map, which you can use to find your own pre-built SVG maps. This is the full list of steps we will take to look for the SVG pre-built path for a map of Mexico. The process can be broken down into six sections. First, Google Wikimedia Commons to get to their SVG Maps section. Second, find the category of maps you are looking for. Third, within the category, find the specific type of map you are looking for. Fourth, find the specific map. Five, get the full resolution SVG image. Six, find the SVG path many language instructions. After we have the path, we can then paste it into our variable to make the image of the country. Let's take a look at a recording to see how it is done. We are going to do this in a screen recording so that you can see how it works. First, we do the Google step. The first step is to use Google search capabilities to find SVG maps. We use the Wikimedia Commons website. Depending on your location and search history, Google will display different results. The one that we want is the one with the title Category SVG Maps Wikimedia Commons. 
Next, we do the Find the Category of Maps You Are Looking For step. Wikimedia Commons has a plethora of pre-built SVG maps, so it is worth taking a look around. For the sake of this video, we are interested in maps by country. So we click into the subcategory link for SVG maps by country. Next, we do the search for the specific type of map you are looking for step. After we click through the SVG maps by country link, we find a huge list of countries. In our case, we are interested in SVG maps of Mexico. Because we want to make a map of the country Mexico, we scroll down the page until we find the letter M. We find the link to SVG maps of Mexico. Let's click on that. Next, we do the find the specific map step. After clicking on the SVG Maps of Mexico link, we find ourselves with a whole new list of different maps. Once you get down this far, it is best to scroll down the page until you come to a visual gallery of the different types of maps that are available. After looking through all of the different ones, we find the one we want. We want the blank Mexico map no states.svg map. Next, we want to get the full resolution SVG image by itself. We scroll down the page looking for where there is a link to the full resolution SVG image. Sometimes this will not be available so you have to try another map. For this one it is available so we find it and click on it. And there we go. We now have the SVG image of the country of Mexico. Now that we have the map we have to get the SVG path mini language instructions. So we right click on the web page to view the source. Once we have done that, we have to scroll down the page and look for the SVG path tag. Once we find it, we then look for the D attribute. Once we have that, we have found the SVG path mini language instructions for constructing the SVG path that will make the country of Mexico. We can highlight the instructions and copy them into the variable we want to draw. Now that we have the Mexico path, we can build the visualization. JavaScript walkthrough. This web page has the D3 library imported from the d3js.org website. We have opened the Chrome developer tools and are in the console section. We start by defining the variables used for the visualization. These are the normal D3 variables we have been using for the SVG viewport, D3 margin, and inner drawing space dimensions. Next, we define the Mexico path variable, which we copied from the web page source code. Next, we define the SVG viewport with a border. Next, we define the D3 zoom behavior event listener function. Because we are not doing anything complicated here, it is a rather short function. Since we are zooming and panning an SVG path, we use the SVG Transform Translate and SVG Transform Scale to do the work for us. We use the D3 Event Translate and D3 Event Scale to tell us specifically the zooming and panning numbers. Now that we have defined the Event Listener function, we define the D3 Zoom Behavior function. We set the scale extent for the zoom from 0.2 to 10. Next, we create the inner drawing space and the hidden rectangle that allows us to use the zoom behavior in empty space. We call the D3 zoom behavior on the inner drawing space. Remember that the hidden rectangle lives in the inner drawing space, which is why we will be able to zoom in the empty space. Finally, we use the Mexico path variable we obtained from the web page to draw the SVG path. And there we go. We have entered all of the code. Let's explore the zooming and panning of the SVG path of the country of Mexico. You can see that we can zoom in and out as well as pan. We were able to create a very detailed representation of the country of Mexico by finding pre-built SVG path mini language instructions on the web. It is important to note that the Wikimedia Commons maps have different licenses and permissions for each map. It is up to you to check to make sure how you are using the map falls within the purview of the license. And with that, we have covered the basics of thinking about, acquiring, creating, and interacting with an SVG path that represents a map. It is the simplest way to create maps with D3. The Summary This video covered the goal of this video, the relevant code, 
how to find pre-built SVG paths, JavaScript walkthrough, and the summary.